so now we are with the software now the software is delivered with a couple of uh, helping video which are pretty good and uh, so let's uh, let's do it first we're gonna install the the driver so it's uh, pretty straightforward just uh, install the um, start the setup uh, batch and um, it will just do the job for you so once this is installed you just said uh, yes it's uh, okay now you won't see it uh, in the device manager uh, before you plug it in so it is not there yet now the next step will be to uh, to install the software to plug the I'm sorry to plug the, the USB port and uh, once this is done uh, it will install the, the driver and uh, it will uh, it will make the communication possible okay driver installed now we need to configure uh, the port so port setting and uh, we need to click uh, RS485 and uh, you put the uh, USB speed on this okay Now once this is done we're going to install the, the main software and uh, so I've, I've cut a bit of the installation to make it shorter but uh, more or less uh, it's going to look like this M Well it's more or less like every other software, just click next and uh, that will do the job nicely for you Okay, so uh, installation is done. Let's start uh, uh, the solar station monitor pro program. So let's keep in mind uh, which port is it. That's the only reason this is open. Because it's the first thing we're gonna need to um, to configure already. Okay, now the password for administrator is one 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 one, so six time one. And uh, first thing first, port configuration. Okay, so COM5, boat rate is good, we add it, once it's added we update it and then when it says update successful, that's it, we're good. Now it appears on the on the navigation panel and then we create the, a charging station. So you can more or less put everything in there. Uh, station 1 device one district one location one just check the voltage and the battery capacity okay now we're gonna define the 
photovoltaic voltage uh, peak power 720 number of parallel array I've put one, maybe I should have put three <laughs> I, I don't think it's really important ok, battery uh, user defined and uh, that's it and now we need to be careful that we put uh, COM5 ok, arrow communication and yep, I think I forgot something somewhere yep, 720 again ok, now we are ready to add it ok there it is, so um, let's start monitoring double click on the, this and then we are on the the main panel and we can start monitor and then we we're gonna have the data uh, read directly from the station, now this is really neat and uh, once you started this it will uh, start logging on the little graph uh, what's going on right now so now it's like 10 p.m. at night so there's nothing much in terms of current I mean the battery obviously is uh, under uh, uh, grid charger grid charger and the solar panel uh, charger can can work together and you can also work with uh, alternator I, mean I haven't seen any problem running at the same time as the alternator ok we can read the real time club, we can update it with uh, the computer time and now the computer and the device are the same time uh, we can also uh, go to device parameter setting we can more or less read everything that is available as a configuration data we can change them here, we can read them, change them and update the device device ID we need to set up the port number and we get the ID one <laughs> ID is one ok what else uh, control parameter, now this is really important this is where you can decide how you want to charge your batteries and uh, for example I have decided not to use the float charging so if you look at float charging uh, which should be 13.8 I've kept 14.4 because uh, my battery is always in use there is no really no reason to go to uh, to floating voltage so I remove the floating voltage and uh, I prefer it that way now if I if the battery were stationary I will definitely put a floating charging voltage on this and uh, basically you can decide every parameter um, for charging your battery ok what else ok now uh, load configuration now there is no uh, there is no load on this particular machine uh, there is a model which says the load configuration now the load configuration on my boat it's not necessary because there are many different loads uh, that are taken from the battery so load and charging is too complex to be handled by an only um, the solar charger so I'd rather have a solar charger which is only charging and I will monitor uh, myself the rest of all the devices Okay, this is uh, device information with uh, firmware version and uh, if you want you can uh, clear everything and put it back to zero now interesting enough now that's where we can get the data from the station so basically you can just uh, put uh, first you can read it and then you see we have 6200 records so it's recording everything every 10 minutes and so it's really neat like it's a huge uh, record and uh, 
Now what's going to be interesting is we're going to get one particular day and see what happened that day. And uh, that's going to be really, really neat. And that's what uh, we are going to do next. Uh, you can see all the data here. You can just uh, select, copy, and paste on Excel and then do whatever you want with it. It's really neat.